Yeah, so it's um, what's interesting about like how our sign up flow goes. Like we're we get tons of folks who are interested in just the anywhere in Bitcoin. Like I want to be in the space. I don't necessarily care about the specific problem. Um, but we've also had folks who are are a little too early. Like maybe they want to solve problems that um, just don't make sense yet. There's not enough infrastructure, but they're saying like, hey, if you can. If you find a team that is solving this really specific problem, I want to hear about it. Like that's, I'm working on something similar um, now, and and that's like the next transformative thing. And and not only, um, you know, you think of like the technical side, with like your, you know, Google, Facebook, Amazon, th- those big companies. Um, there's also we've seen a, quite a big interest from you know your major financial companies, um, right. so like Visa and you know, all the major banks, MasterCard. Um, that's, that's one thing that we weren't, uh, we didn't know exactly what to expect and hadn't really been involved in that space, but it's, it's pretty cool to see um, the interest there. Uh, we've, we've got quite a few folks that um, you know, have, have tried to like make things move within their own company. I've said, all right, fine, if you guys aren't gonna listen, like, I'm, I'm basically, I'm gonna beat you. Like, right. I'm, you become kind of the enemy in a sense. So, um, so it's really cool to work with people like that. And, and these are folks that just, um, you know, whether they're too busy or, um, you know, are, are not interested in getting into the flow of interviewing, like, it, it seems like there's been a lot of value in, in enabling them to just, like, hey, do you want to have this intro with a with the founder for fifteen minutes and and kind of gain excitement there? Um, so so hopefully you know it's a benefit for for not only candidates but for founders who are able to um, sell their product up front, um, sell the vision, and and uh, we we've been happy with the flow so far. So if someone if you're talking to someone and they've heard about Bitcoin. Um, but maybe they haven't fallen down this like rabbit hole yet. <laughs> yeah. You know, they haven't like gotten addicted to learning more about like Bitcoin. Yeah. Um, do you have like some places that you you send them to? You're like, oh, okay. You, you're interested in Bitcoin. Um, you're not sure if you want to go somewhere yet, but you want to learn more. You should go check out like this, this, and this. Yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of a tricky like selling Bitcoin to to people is tough because it's. Um, I think with a lot of technologies that are transformative and um, disruptive, you typically have people on either like either side of the extreme. Like I'm either I either get it and I'm way into it, or like no, that's a, the stupidest idea ever. So um, just in the, I mean, I feel like I was late to the game, but in my short time, it, it seems like if if I sell too hard, people turn away from it. It's like. Yeah, I don't know. It, it kind of like resonates like CrossFit does. I don't know if that's a good example, but <laughs> um, just like it's promoted so much. Right. Um, but as far as where I've sent people, there's a um, I forget the name of the guy who who wrote the blog, but it's like explain like I'm five Bitcoin. It's on um, it's a post on Medium yep. that does a really good job explain it, like basically it takes an apple and makes it a digital apple and kind of explains the uh, um, you know, the open ledger and all of that. Um, so th- that seems to, like, that's what I use with my mom. She kind of, like, got it. So I'm, I'm big on, like, the mom tests um, for, for people understanding because my mom is pretty averse to, to technology. But She was probably more confused after she read it, too, which is kind of, I think, across the board, where it's like <coughs> someone's like, I don't understand Bitcoin at all. I'm going to go learn something about it. And then they, like, you read the first thing, and you're like, Nope, yeah. I I know even less <laughs> yeah. than I than I did like ten minutes ago. I'm even more confused now. I need to go learn more, and it, like it just keeps. Yeah, like, I think like you just want like one. I think it can be a very small like moment of like okay, maybe I get that concept a little bit. Maybe it's not the craziest thing in the world because like I mean, it, I still kind of lovingly call it magic internet money. It is it 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 is that crazy like, um, and. Uh, so I, I try to kind of plant the seed and get some, try to maybe understand a little, have someone understand a little concept and then kind of go from there. But uh, there's just, it, the rabbit hole goes way down. Like, so if you try to explain all of that in one sitting, it's it, it's overwhelming. Yeah. So when, when you're talking to these potential um, 
hires, I guess, that are working at these major companies, you mentioned that they uh, sometimes they're interested in doing things that maybe the industry is not quite ready for. Right. Do you, do you have any, like, are there any examples? Because maybe someone watching could just go build that and <laughs> yeah. you could go get more people hired. Yeah. Um, let's see. I mean, a, a lot of the ones that, I'm, that I've really liked were people who are um, building products that are on blockchain technology, but they're hidden. They're like, hey, I, I want to build this or that um, on the Bitcoin protocol, um, but I don't want it to be known that it's uh, built on that. And, right. I th and I think that's um, eventually like that will happen. And, and you kind of have this like, ha, you do like Bitcoin and you didn't even know it moment. Because um, I think it's one of those things that the, the technology really does kind of speak for itself. Um, so um, I don't know if I want to put out specifics on anybody in case they are building it. And I'm like, become their worst Revealing it. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, but yeah, I mean, really anything. Like uh, one thing that's exciting for us is like it, the ability to disrupt like almost any industry is, yeah. is available. So... Um, you know, you can build, you know, the, the Twitter um, equivalent or, you know, Google Drive or Dropbox or um, like some of that is being done now. Um, but, but I think really like you can think of the product you use today and like there's, there's an opportunity to, to disrupt that in a sense or at least make a, um, you know, side product that makes sense. Uh, maybe it's not, it doesn't have to be one or the other, but um, but there's, there's some really cool stuff going on. Yeah, I, and I think that one of the most <coughs> interesting things about Bitcoin is that, one, we don't know who made it, right? Some right. guy named Satoshi Nakamoto, who's anonymous, made Bitcoin, and yeah. he's basically like Santa Claus. Right. <laughs> or like the Tooth Fairy or something. Yeah. And yeah. that just is awesome <laughs> to yeah. start. That's enough for me, actually. Um, but then on top of that, we have this amazing technology, which is the blockchain, which enables both Bitcoin, the currency, but all these other things that we, so many things that we haven't even figured out, like what we could do. Right. Right. Yeah. It's like insane. And yeah. so you just kind of want to keep watching the industry and figuring out what's going on. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> if there's someone watching that either they have a Bitcoin company they're working on or they will at some point, or maybe they're working somewhere, they are interested in working at a, you know, a Bitcoin company. Yeah. Um, how do they, how should they get in touch with you to go do that? Yeah, um, so um, you can check us out on, it's honeybadger.com is, is the website. Um, and, and so basically we, we're like a double blind, kind of more high touch service. There are other cool, like if you want to work in the space, um, Coinality was probably like the first one in the space and uh, their uh, Bitcoin job board. Um, and have more of like contract work. So I think we're, we're more focused on um, like full-time roles um, at and most of the companies we're working with are, are like VC-backed companies. Um, but there's, there's a lot of opportunity to kind of dabble on, on projects and, and that sort of thing. Um, as far as like um, what companies are looking for, I think Bitcoin also offers a unique opportunity that um, when you think of other tech startups, like there, there's typically like a degree that makes sense, right? So we still don't have like the Bitcoin college degree. So right. a lot of it is um, there's an opportunity to just kind of dive in and like start playing around with the technology and start learning um, that you kind of create your own degree, um, which I think is a cool opportunity. Um, and uh, if, if you're in the Bay Area, we're, we're frequently at a lot of the meetups. And, and uh, it's, it's one of those industries that's early enough that you'll meet founders um, at just about any meetup, um, people that are um, doing really cool things in the space. So, you know, I, I, I think that's um, another good route to go as well. Maybe the requirement is if they've watched this entire Bitcoin course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Seriously, yeah. I, I think... Um, I think this will be uh, something really cool. Like there, there really is nothing like this out there. Um, I love what you're doing with Sapchain. It's getting kind of telling a story there. That's that's actually my new like um, go-to place if someone wants to learn about Bitcoin. I send them to some of the articles that that have come out of Zapchain. That's awesome. Um, yeah, go follow Derek on Zapchain. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
but yeah, the, I, I'm excited to see the, um, I think in the next year or two, um, we're in this phase where, where there's a lot of really smart people with their heads down building, building cool stuff and uh, it's gonna change quickly. I think so too. Yeah. Well, thank you for helping us with this Bitcoin course. Yeah, it's um, awesome. I think that you, you know, talking to so many like super smart people that are already doing super smart things at really successful companies um, and then they're going to go leave and do Bitcoin stuff. I think you have a super interesting perspective yeah. um, on the Bitcoin industry. Y and yeah. Y yeah. And one, if anybody um, has any questions, I'm happy to like, I'll, I'll try to get to you. I, I'm slowly getting unburied from, from email, but, um, but uh, can people tweet at you? Yeah, you tweeted me. Um, it's Derek Minter. Um, at Derek Minter. At Derek Minter. On I'm very easy to find on the internet, so um, I stay on top <laughs> of, of most mediums. But uh, but love having the conversation with anybody. Cool. Awesome. Cool. All right. Bye, guys. Thank you.